Connecting to Pokeswap just got even better with the addition of the Fearless Wallet browser extension for Google Chrome. Connecting is simple. Let's go through the basic steps. First, make sure you're using Google Chrome. Next, let's head over to pokeswap.io. If it is your first time here, you will see the Connect accounts pop up. Click on it to continue. If you're a returning user, click the Switch account icon next to your account name in the Account tab. All the upcoming screens will be the same from here out. While you're in the Sora Network account page, click on the Install button next to the Fearless Wallet icon. This will take you to the Chrome Web Store. Click on the blue Add to Chrome button. Click on Add Extension inside the gray pop-up. This window lets you know Fearless Wallet has been added to Chrome. You also have an option here to turn on Sync if you like. Next, click on the puzzle piece on your Chrome browser screen. Click on the pin to pin it to your browser window and always have it visible. Go ahead and click on the Fearless icon. Then select Create a new wallet. If you already have a Fearless Wallet account, you can import it by clicking on the button at the bottom right. Give your wallet a nickname and hit continue. Next, your 12-word passphrase will appear. Write this down somewhere and keep it safe. When you're finished, click on I have written down the passphrase. Next, set up a private password. And you're all done. Click on Start using Fearless. Let's pause and show you another very interesting and fearless feature, Mobile Wallet Injection. This means that you can sign your desktop extension transactions through the safety and comfort of your Fearless Wallet mobile app. To get started, on the Fearless extension, click on the account name and a menu to add another account will appear. Click on Add Wallet, then Connect Mobile. A QR code will appear. On your phone, open the Fearless Wallet app, click on the settings cog in the bottom right corner, and then tap Experimental Features. Tap on Beacon DAP and scan the QR code from the Fearless browser extension. Click Connect on your mobile phone and the browser extension will update, confirming the connection. You have just linked your mobile wallet to the Fearless Wallet browser extension. Since the account is injected, not imported using a seed phrase, you must sign all transactions for this account using your mobile phone. The main benefits of injecting a mobile account into the Fearless Browser extension are more security, a better experience interacting with dApps, and the convenience of not having to input your password with every transaction. With these benefits covered, let's go on with the walkthrough. This is the main wallet screen for the browser extension. We are still not connected to Pokeswap, so let's do that now. Returning to Pokeswap, go to the Account tab and find the Sora Network account window. Click on Fearless Wallet. Next, this pop-up will request your permission to connect your Fearless Wallet browser extension to Pokeswap. Click Yes to allow this application access. Now, select the account you just made. And you're in. You are using Fearless Wallet to trade with style and freedom on Pokeswap. If you need to bridge some ETH over to Pokeswap, click on the Bridge tab on the left-hand side. On this window, you will connect your MetaMask to Pokeswap and complete your bridge this way. Select the tokens on the Sora side that you want to send across the bridge, or vice versa. Select the tokens within the connected MetaMask account to send over to the Sora network. Enter the amount to send and double-check the transaction details. Then click Next. A summary of the operation will pop up. Click on Confirm and the bridge operation will begin. Approve the transaction from your MetaMask account and then approve it on your Fearless Wallet extension. If you're using an injected account, the transaction will be approved using the Fearless mobile app by pressing the Approve button on your phone. Wait for a few blocks to confirm the transaction and then confirm you have received your funds from the bridge. If you want to review the history of your transactions on the bridge, in the bridge section of Pokeswap, there is a button with a list and a clock in the top right corner. Click on this button and you will get a list of all the transactions you have sent, along with their details such as the date time, the amount sent, and the receiving network. If you click on a transaction, 
the bridge will launch and recreate this transaction, in case you want to repeat a previous bridge operation. If one of your bridge transactions fails, this is where you'll find the retry button. In case there are any problems, please refer to our other tutorials or ask a Telegram admin for further questions on bridging or any different topic. Thank you and stay fearless.